Hey what's up guys, in this project I'll show you how you can use Circuit Playground Express and make code to build a mini synthesizer. So MakeCode is this programming editor that runs in the browser. It has an intuitive interface that's both block-based and text editor. It works with Adafruit Circuit Playground Express, so you can make interactive projects using the onboard sensors and components. You can drag and drop blocks to make interactive programs using lights and sounds without having to solder or learn a new syntax. You can upload code directly to the Circuit Playground Express with Web USB. You also have the flexibility to use CircuitPython, MakeCode, or Arduino. I like to use MakeCode because the user interface is nice and easy. It's also free, so it's great for the classroom and teaching workshops. So go to makecode.com to get started and check out the demo projects for inspiration. We designed a PCB for the Circuit Playground Express and milled it on a desktop CNC. This add-on has large touch pads and expands the pins for capacitive touch. We used a single-sided FR1 PCB because it's great for these simple type of projects. The Bantam Tools software builds toolpaths for you so you don't have to worry about setting up your Gerbers or G-Code. It also has native support for Eagle CAD files so you can just drag and drop your designs and start cutting. So this cuts out custom shapes and can make traces by milling away outlines and drilling holes. By using a single tool, you can speed up the process and make really fast PCB prototypes. I put together this design using our EagleCAD library for the Circuit Playground Express. You can grab the files and read our tutorial by checking out the Learn Guide, links in the description. Once it's finished cutting, there's a bit of cleanup to do. I do some light sanding with a Scotch-Brite pad and buff away any burrs and rough edges. The PCB is secured to the spoil board using double-sided Scotch tape. I like to use alcohol in a squeeze bottle to soften the adhesive. And to make removal easier, I use a thin palette knife to get in between the strips of tape. You want to break away the PCB from the sheet over a waste bin to catch any debris or excess material. And if it doesn't cut all the way through, you can poke out the holes and scotch bright the edges to smooth them out. And these boards can look really nice with a bit of post-processing. We used hardware screws to mechanically hold the two boards together. These M3 screws and nuts are electrically conductive so they'll bridge our connections. So if you like this project, be sure to check it out on the Adafruit Learning System. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.